Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problems of weekly contest 3 to 5. Uh, today we will be talking about this problem, take k of each character from left to right. Okay, so this problem can be solved with various number of ways. One of the ways is binary search and other way is the two pointer. There can be a lot of ways even of uh, prefix sum and suffix sum approach also. But the best way is to use the two pointer by modifying the problem statement. Uh, very uh, smartly okay so uh, let's start to analyze this problem you have the string as and it contains only three types of characters you know character a character b and character c and also you are given the value of k okay so what you are supposed to find is uh, also uh, one more thing each minute you may take either the leftmost character of s or the rightmost character of s Okay, so you have the strings and the strings have the character something like this S1, S0 to Sn and in each step, in each minute, you can either uh, drop the character from the start or from the back side of the string. Okay, now uh, let me just give you the hint. So after some sequence of steps, you can see, let's say after, let's say X minutes, uh, X minutes have passed. Okay, so uh, some starting, uh, some st prefix of the original string must be dropped and some suffix of the string must be dropped so we have some sub array or you can say we have sub string we have some sub string of original string that is going to be remained now this is important and the length of the sub string remember that x minus have passed so length uh, let me write down the so length of the sub string that is being remained is going to be uh, original length minus x okay now remember this fact this is going to help us okay so after some minutes have passed let's say x minutes have been passed some prefix of the string will be dropped and some suffix of the string will be dropped such that the length of prefix plus length of the suffix will be x and the length of the substring that is being remained is n minus x where n is the length of the string okay so what we are supposed to find is return the minimum number of minutes needed for you to take at least k of each character or return minus one if it is not possible to take k of each character okay so what you are supposed to find is minimize x where x is the number of minutes which have been passed such that uh, such that uh, you are ne uh, like uh, needed for you to take at least k of each character okay so if x minutes have been passed some prefix and we have some suffix let's say s of n minus 3 s of n minus 2 s of n minus 1 okay so when x minutes have been passed some prefix have been taken let me change the color again uh, wait a minute yeah so some prefix has been taken and some suffix has been taken such that the prefix and suffixes which are taken will have at least uh, let me write down count of a character a is going to be greater than or equal to k count of character b which is going to be greater than or equal to k and count of character c should also be greater than or equal to k okay so when x minutes have been passed the uh, some prefix of the original string uh, will be taken and some suffix of the original string will be taken such that the taken characters uh, if you find out the frequency of a among the taken characters similarly frequency of b among the taken characters and frequency of c among the taken characters from the prefix as well as suffix when x minutes have been passed you must have this count of a greater than or equal to k count of b greater than or equal to k count of c greater than or equal to k if you if all the three conditions are satisfied this is a valid x so you will minimize your answer answer equal to min of answer comma x okay so uh, let us try to modify this problem okay so how the problem is going to be modified Re uh, remember that when we take some prefix and some suffix of this uh, original string so remaining will be a substring okay so remaining uh, will be a substring and since you need to minimize answer equal to min of answer comma x since you need to minimize the length of let's say this is l1 and this is l2 
and where l1 plus l2 equal to x okay since you need to minimize your answer in other words if you are able to find out the modified answer let's say the modified answer is capital a a equal to max of a comma let's say uh, let's say the length that you need are intended to find is l where l is the length of the substring that is being remained okay so this is going to be l is the length of substring remaining okay so if you are able to find out this capital a okay this capital a which is the maximum length of the substring which is remaining then your answer would be simply answer equal to n minus capital a okay so if you are able to find out the maximum length of the substring which is remaining such that uh, the sub the set of strings set of prefixes and suffixes which are dropped if you are able to find out the count of e which is should which should be greater than or equal to k count of b uh, which should be greater than or equal to k count of c which should be greater than or equal to k okay so your modified problem is uh, let me write down in the next piece find the length of longest substring a uh, like the length of is going to be a such that the count of the remaining characters count of uh, let me write down uh, in short form let's say c of uh, small a should be greater than or equal to k c of small b should be greater than or equal to k c of small c uh, which should be greater than or equal to k and these three will be among dropped characters okay that is going to be from prefix and suffixes among dropped characters okay so this is our modified problem now uh, we need to modify our uh, uh, this modified uh, solution this is our modified solution a little bit more because you know still you are working up, uh, like we are working to find out the length of the longest substring of a okay and uh, we are just uh, considering the uh, to find out among dropped characters that is going to be complex remember that our actual answer is nothing but n minus capital a where capital a is the answer for this solution okay so we need to modify this uh, this this entire part also and how we are going to do that let's try to understand that okay so suppose uh, c1 represents the count of a uh, let me write down count of uh, a in the actual string okay like in the original string what is the total count of a c2 represents count of b and similarly c3 represent count of c okay now remember that these three conditions will hold and we can modify these three conditions like if uh, like this is these three conditions will be for among dropped characters okay so if we look out for the remaining substring like what will be the frequency of a frequency of b and frequency of c this statement can be modified such that we can write down c of a as uh, uh, this statement is going to be modified as at most uh, at most uh, will be c1 minus the k characters and again this statement can be modified as at most c2 minus k characters okay and this statement can also be modified as at most c3 minus k character now these three conditions will be for uh, remaining substring okay so remember that we need to uh, make sure that when x minutes have been passed the characters which are present in a direct the characters which are present in suffixes and uh, prefixes and suffixes such that count of a should be greater than or equal to k count of b should be greater than or equal to k count of c should be greater than or equal to k and in other words we can also say that the we need to maximize the length of the remaining substring such that the remaining substring will have at most c1 minus k type of a characters c2 minus k type of b characters c3 minus k type of c characters okay if you are able to say that it means that the remaining uh, dropped characters will must be satisfying this condition this condition and this condition 
okay so let's take an example and let's try to understand how this can be efficiently done suppose we have this string a a then again we have b then we have four times a and then we have uh, c double a b c c a a and b and c and we have the value of k as 2 okay so uh, we want uh, what actually we want is uh, count of a uh, let me write down c of a should be greater than or equal to 2 c of b should be greater than or equal to 2 c of c should be greater than or equal to 2 and this for among dropped characters among dropped characters okay so uh, you need to find some suitable prefix and some suitable suffix okay so what we are going to do is uh, let's say we are just uh, picking out the last five characters and uh, let's say we are picking out the first three characters okay so if you are able to do that you can see uh, the uh, the strings would be a b from prefix and c a a b c from the suffix so what is the count of a in the prefix and suffixes in total so you can say c of a is coming out to be 4 which is greater than or equal to 2 and c of b which is coming out to be 2 which is greater than or equal to 2 and similarly c of c which is also coming out to be 2 which is greater than or equal to 2. Remember that this is for among dropped characters and all the three conditions are satisfied. So our minimum x is coming out to be 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3 which is coming out to be 8. So you can see 8 is our answer. Okay, now how we are just modifying our problem statement. Let's try to understand that. Okay, so this is for among dropped characters, right? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, this is for among dropped characters. Okay, so now uh, we'll just modify our statement and we need to find the length of longest substring, which is actually remaining one, okay? Substring such that c1 equal to total count minus k k is coming out to be 2 okay so let me write down total count of a minus k c2 is coming out to be total count of b minus k similarly c3 comes out to be total count of c minus k okay so let's try to evaluate these all values efficiently you can see we have 4 to 6 to 8 so we will be writing down 8 minus 2 which is coming out to be 6 and similarly, we will be having 0 over here and we will be having 0 over here. Okay. So, our modified statement is find the length of the substring, which is actually the remaining. It can be anything, you know. It can be anything such that the count of uh, A in that substring is going to be at most 6. Count of B in that substring is going to be at most 0. And count of C in that substring is at most 0. Okay, so you can see you need to maximize the length of the string. So uh, it can be like uh, the entire string, but if you take the entire string, you can see uh, frequency of B is actually 2, but we want at most 0. Okay, so you need to modify it efficiently. So we'll use the concept of two pointers. Okay, so we'll uh, fi fix one pointer at the beginning. Let's say I'm fixing J over here and we'll try to fix I. Okay, so when we fix I, you can see we have two a's and we want at most six a's and uh, zero b's and zero c's so we will not try to pick up uh, b as well as c okay so you can see this is a valid uh, remaining substring it can be the valid remaining substring okay so you can see uh, we still we can get some better substring so we'll try to increment g okay so uh, when we try to put up i over here you can see we got one b but we want at most zero b's okay so it means that this is not a valid i so we'll try to bring j over here and i over here still you got some b again so you will try to move j over here and i is again over here still you got some b over here so you will just move i and j to both next positions okay now you can see i and j over here now you got one a and you need at most six a's okay so you can bring i over here again you can bring i over here again you can bring i over here and you can see this is the uh, you are getting the length as 4 and still you have uh, at most 6 substrings here it is 4 and you want at most 6 okay and again you have 0 b and 0 c now this is a valid um, length of the remaining substring and its length is coming out to be 4 okay now when you try to increment a lot like when you try to move this i position to here you got one c but you want at most zero 
okay so still you will bring j to the next further afterwards now you have again j over here and i over here now this length is 2 and again you are just uh, not having suitable length of the remaining substring so the maximum length of the remaining substring is going to be this one where the a, a frequency is 4 b frequency is 0 c frequency is 0 okay now this is satisfying these three conditions okay now you can see this is actually the length of the remaining substring okay and the uh, prefixes and suffixes which were actually dropped is coming out to be this one and this one okay so uh, if you get the maximum length of the substring your answer is coming out to be n minus the max length max length okay this is 4 so your answer is coming out to be 12 minus 4 which is nothing but 8 okay so where n is the length of the original string so let's look out to the coding part how it is going to be efficiently implemented so we have n as strings length and a count is the total count of the string a similarly we have b count and c count if any of the count is going to be less than k it means the, your answer would be minus 1 otherwise we'll find out the remaining uh, we'll find out the remaining a count and remaining b count and remaining c count why we are doing this because we need to find the maximum length of the remaining substring okay and we also initialize a count b count c count 0 to find out uh, to use this var these variables in the two pointers now our new goal is to find the maximum size of the subarray which contains at most remaining a count, remaining b count and remaining c count of a, b and c respectively. We will start two pointers j as 0 and max size as 0 and first we will try to increment a, b and c correspondingly and we will try to compress this j if uh, we have the invalid uh, remaining substring ok so while j less than, uh, less than or equal to i and if any of these condition holds. Since we want at most remaining a count, so if a count is going to be greater than remaining a count or b count is going to be greater than remaining b count or c count is going to be greater than remaining c count, we will try to compress this j. Okay. And uh, since we have already compressed this j, we have the suitable i j to i subarray which is going to be the maximum length of the remaining uh, substring actually. Okay. So we will maximize our answer as uh, maximize our max size as i minus j plus 1. So what is our actual answer? Uh, total length of the original string minus the maximum length of the remaining string. If you are able to do that, it means that the n minus max size is going to be the total length of the dropped characters, which is our answer. So let's submit this code and check it out. Yes, you can see all the test cases have been passed. So the time complexity is coming out to be O of n and space complexity will come out to be O of 1. Okay, so if you have any doubts, you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video.